Hey, we back. I'm here with another Discord video, and today, once again, we're going for a more general approach. Uh, so, we're talking about embeds on Discord. Um, embeds are used by bots primarily, uh, pretty much exclusively, in fact. Um, we have here an example of an embed. Uh, here is an example of an embed. I can do a roll on my day, and that's another example of an embed. Embeds are used a lot by bots because they're pretty nice in general. The formatting is quite nice, um, and it's uh, very programmable. But what about sending them from your own account? Well, the main way to do this is self-botting, which is against TOS. So don't do that because you will get yourself banned. Got to be careful. However, there is a bit of a workaround, and that is by using a link to a website instead. It doesn't look quite as nice because it doesn't embed, um, but it still works quite nicely. And as you can see by my example here, we can get a nice embed sent from my account. And you can put stuff in here. Um, this is the website that I'm using. As you can see, it's got a bit of a long link. I'm afraid you're just going to have to cope with that if you want the nice embed uh, without getting yourself banned. Um, but how did I make this? Well, let me take you over to Chrome. So, so here I have Rolf's Embed Generator. This is a website that I've used quite a few times in the past. It's a bit old now, um, and I don't know if uh, Ralph still supports it. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, disclaimer, I am not Ralph. I did not make this. I just found it mm, a long time ago. Um, and I use it periodically for a bit of fun. Um, but I will leave the link to this in the description, um, and it's a nice little embed generator. As it says, this is uh, use at your own risk. Uh, I'm not responsible for what uh, happens to you by using it. I will re reiterate that. I'm also not responsible. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but as long as you're using it by the link, I do not think uh, it is uh, against the TOS, so you should be fine. Um, maybe don't post it in giant public servers because it might look a little bit suspicious, uh, but uh, it is it is fine as far as I'm aware. So, what have we got here? Uh, first of all, we have domain to use. This is actually important because we have three domains here that we can use. Um, I'm using test.ralph.workers.dev. Um, the other two at the moment are not working. Uh, they used to work, they currently don't. Uh, let me show you what happens uh, when we use these. So if we use ralph.whatthefuck.embed, we generate that. I'm going to copy that link and then post that one into Discord. As you can see, that just shows the emote. That's not what we want. And if we go for embed.ralph.whatthefuck, generate that and copy and paste that one into Discord, it works. But you see, we don't have this extra word here, the title. As you can see though, test.ralph.workers.dev works fine. We can generate that, copy, paste the link, shove that one in Discord, and this is the one that's all good. Um, so uh, let me just quickly go through how you do use it once you've got that working. If this one isn't working, try the other two. Maybe one of them is now working. It's a bit hit or miss. Um, I would advise testing this in a DM or uh, with a bot or, or a private uh, channel or something before you send it to wherever you're planning to send it, just to make sure that it is working. Uh, but we have the author text, we have the te title text. Um, this is kind of in the wrong order because author text uh, shows at the top, title text shows underneath, which you would expect to be the other way around. Um, but that's just how embeds work. Author text does go above title text. Um, then we also have the color. We have a little color picker here. We can pick a nice color. Uh, this is going to be the color of the little sidebar here um, on the left. Then we also have our image URL. So I've just put a little Discord emote in there, uh, Discord app uh, slash emojis. Uh, you can put whatever you like in there. We also have redirect URL. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the link that it will take you to if you click on the title text. As you see, the title text here is blue. You can click on that um, and that'll be the, the URL for that. Um, after you've inputted those things, you can go to generate and we get the generated URL. It's also worth noting that 
This is obviously not all of the text that an embed can have. For example, the description, which is the bulk of an embed. In fact, it also doesn't have things like author image and uh, stuff like that because simply the functionality hasn't been added to the website. I'm afraid that's not something that Ralph's embed generator can do. Um, if you do want that, you are going to need a bot to, to handle it. This is just kind of a bit of a sketchy workaround. Like I said, I will put the link for the website in the description. Um, and you can use this, as it says, at your own risk and discretion, whatever. Uh, but it's pretty fun, so there you go. Anyway, bye!